All right, Loan, in this one, what we're going to do is take what we saw in our last segment, how the Earth's spherical shape caused different heating in the Earth's surface. Correct. And we're going to look at a year. We're going to walk around and simulate a year's worth of seasons. So we're going to start with our sun here, and I'm going to ask you to start over here and hold the globe like it would be for one of the equinoxes. Okay. All right, so for one of the equinoxes, spring or fall, okay, the sun would be directly overhead for an observer at the equator. Now, because the Earth rotates or evolves, um, counterclockwise from a viewed above the North Pole, this is going to be our spring season. All right. right. And I'll have you just lower that a little bit so it's about level with the, the light bulb. And we can see now that we still have our concentrated rays near the equator. And as we go north or south, those rays become less and less concentrated. What I may have you do is move over here to where it would be during summer. And notice because of the tilt of the Earth's axis at 23 and a half degrees, that she kept this on the same plane as we moved. Now we see that the most concentrated rays are no longer over the equator, but up here over what would be the Tropic of Cancer, 23 and a half degrees north of the equator. As we go north, they become less concentrated. As we go south, become less concentrated. But what also we notice is up here, north of the Arctic Circle, notice that for an observer up there, it would never get dark. We'd have total daylight on, the, on this day. And for an observer down here in the southern hemisphere, south of the Antarctic Circle, notice the sun never comes up on this day, which would be our, our summer solstice or first day of our summer. Also notice that the duration of insulation, how long we have of daylight, is much longer for observers up here in the northern hemisphere. Here's where somebody in Rochester would be. And if we notice right about here, okay, would just be sunrise. And notice that I'll keep my finger there. And notice right about there would be sunset. It's about two-thirds of, of the rotation, okay? And so our days are much longer in the summer. We have almost 15 hours, 15, 16 hours of daylight in, in the summer, as opposed to closer to eight in the winter, Correct. all right? So six months later, let's go, or three months later, let's go to our next season, all right? We just had summer, so now we're over here in fall. Once again, the most intense rays are at the equator. As we move north or south, those rays become spread out. And also on, these, on this day, notice that for everybody on Earth, there's 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of darkness on this day. Okay, actually the globe should rotate the other way. Now let's go one more season. And now when we're back over to this spot, notice that the southern hemisphere is actually oriented more towards the sun. Okay, we've kept our tilt of the Earth's axis in the same plane as we've moved around, and now, the most intense rays would actually be overhead for an observer at the Tropic of Capricorn, 23 and a half degrees south of the equator. And as we move north and south, once again, those rays are spread out. But we notice down here at the Antarctic Circle, these people would have total daylight on that day. Correct. Up here at, above the Arctic Circle or north of the Arctic Circle would be total darkness. Now these circles are 66 and a half degrees. Now that's 23 and a half degrees from the poles. So notice those, those circles and the tropics are important because they have the same measurement that we have as the tilt of the Earth's axis. Those are responsible for where the, we see the sun on those days. Okay, so on the first day of what was our summer, our summer solstice, the sun was overhead for an observer at the Tropic of Cancer. First day of our winter, which is the winter solstice, it would be overhead for an observer down here at the Tropic of Capricorn. All right? So, Joe, um, to clarify your point, this is the sun and mm -hmm. this is the earth. This is our winter. Notice that the earth is pointing away. The north is pointing away from the sun. Mm -hmm. That's a cool way to remember which season it is. All right. And we notice the seasons are caused not by us being farther or closer from the sun. It's caused it's by the tilt. By the tilt. We're actually a, a little bit closer in the winter. 